The cutting industry in Sri Lanka is an amazing industry and has been making a great comeback and great advances over the last decade. Primarily what you see being cut in Sri Lanka is sapphire and cat's eye chrysoberyl, although all types of stones are cut in Sri Lanka. And while some of the operations doesn't have the latest cutting equipment or computerized or robotic cutting, what the Sri Lankan industry really has going for it in many cases is the tremendous amount of experience and expertise in cutting. These Sri Lankan cutters really know how to orient the rough crystals, especially orienting sapphires, orienting star rubies and star sapphires, and orientating cat's eye chrysoberyls. They are masters at getting the best color seen face up out of these crystals and retaining the greatest amount of weight. And today they are combining those talents with the precision and the proportions and the symmetry demanded by the global market. The Sri Lankans really know how to get weight retention, color, cat's eye and star orientation, and the proportions and the symmetry demanded by different market sectors. Some market sectors will demand the tightest proportions and precision and demand that no windows are present and the finest symmetry. Others will demand various types of qualities in their cutting and weight retention. These highly skilled Sri Lankan cutters can provide global customers now with all of their demands, all the different market sectors, whether it's the most precise cutting or precise cutting in combination with the best weight retention. These Sri Lankan cutters know how to get it. They have decades and centuries of experience that they're calling upon to get these very valuable materials orientated just right. Here you can see this lady is polishing a star sapphire. She's getting the near to final polish on there so that it has the most beautiful appearance. She's already orientated the material to get the best weight retention and the star orientated right at the center or in cat's eye crystal barrels, the cat's eyes orientated just right for the customer with the best weight retention and with the best color that they can get face up. This is really an art. It is a skill, it is an art and to some degree a science that is all combined to get the best appearance for these finished stones. And look at how she's doing the star sapphire. She's polishing this all by hand, all controlled by hand. Coordination with the eye and the hand and experience. This is really expert cutting at its finest. We constantly saw in this small factory, if you will, which was comprised of two ladies at this time, cutting these gemstones going back and forth between cutting star sapphires, cutting cat's eye crystal barrels, and cutting faceted blue sapphires. Constantly going through the process, putting the polish on. These ladies constantly went back from sapphire to cat's eye crystal barrel during the production, doing many parcels of cat's eye crystal barrel. And then we saw parcels of preformed blue sapphire rough that was going to be dopped up and then faceted. You see the initial preforming had been done, which was highly important to get the orientation for the color face up. A critical stage that required a great deal of skill and knowledge. 
if the initial preforming isn't done correctly, nothing else matters. To have to re-go back in and reset the orientation of the table, you will lose a tremendous amount of weight. The preforming is critical in getting the best color face up and in getting the most weight retention from the rough. This is where years of experience is required. Alluvial pebbles have to be examined carefully to see the color zoning, the pleochroism, where they might get that best color seen in the finished stone. And then they can preform it, and then really it's all downhill from there. This one, they know exactly where the pavilion will be, where the table will be, and have set the rough outline to where they can now cut the beautiful proportions and finish. Looking at a stone like this and knowing how it's going to be enhanced by heat, what color it should change, how you're going to orient that rough for that best color. That takes tremendous amount of experience. And that experience is highly thought after in the global market today. So once they're looking and examining this rough, they will take this rough and they will put it into different categories. Categories by how they feel that the rough will respond to heat treatment and categories how they feel the rough will yield weight, yield size, and yield different qualities of color. This is all very, very important in the cutting process. This man has so much knowledge and experience, he can just look at this piece of rough and pretty much know how it's gonna turn after treatment and what it's gonna cut. Now look at how this piece of rough has been preformed and the color zoning orientated to what will be the bottom of the stone near the culin. That will reflect face up and show a rich blue color when the stone is mounted in jewelry. Take a look now at that preform face up. And once it's further cut, it will probably just reflect that color more face up. Sapphires aren't the only stones that are cut in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is now cutting a variety of material more in the global market like this incredible tanzanite. <laughs>